A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this session, I'm being given the message that they realize now that you were always right when you said that you both don't need anything more because you already found love. So they miss you and all your words with tears in their eyes because they feel that it cannot be reversed. It cannot be reversed. They have gone too far into it. Whatever they chose, their decision was like, it cannot be turned around. That's how they feel right now, which is causing them more and more pain. But at the same time, they feel good that you could already see through things. You were much better than many people they met. All, you know, the things that you said, maximum things they feel are coming true. And once again, guys, this is a collective reading as most of our readings on this channel because we either do live readings, collective readings or I do personal sessions. So in case you don't resonate with this one, you can always choose something else that you resonate with or you can get into a personal session with me. You can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com after going through the description box. Kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me because we follow a step-by-step -step protocol and we will discuss your journey later on. All right. So let's just get started with this one. What's really happening here? Uh, let's ask my cards. And before that, let's seek protection from the spirit guides, from the from the higher beings let's ask for protection thank you thank you thank you so much all of you for always being there for us protecting us taking care of us teaching us so many wonderful things on this planet and true things on this planet most people don't even know one of the key things that they see in you is right now the power that you have and the authority that you have derived they felt like this word authority uh, once again was given to me because probably uh, the collective, the feminine collective had told the masculine collective that you need to bring in your own authority. You need to be strong. You need to be decision maker. You need to do this. Maybe she was frustrated. The feminine collective was frustrated with them because they were not. This is the biggest problem with the masculine. When they are distorted, they don't have any authority, which is the reason why they usually look for other people and they are very codependent at that point in time. So, but when he's looking at you, he feels that you have a lot of authority, intelligence, and you also have connections. They can see that you are well connected. You can get things done. A lot of things, you know, they can sense in you right now. And it is giving them happiness because in a way, you are right. You know, you are right about many things. Now, second thing is what they feel very strongly is maybe they need to do something heroic, you know, to get your attention back. Now, a lot of people in this community are quite upset with the masculine. They don't want to see his face. And some of them could be right because see, you don't have to look at a person as a masculine. In your life also, you have masculine energy, which you see in father, brother, best friends, colleagues. And if this universe is like a difficult place for you, it means that you have not worked out properly with the masculine energy and you hold a lot of bitterness and anger towards that one person. And it's always said that whatever you focus on grows. So it's not just the masculine who will be difficult for you or unhelpful. Other masculines will also be like that. They will trouble you in some way or the other. And, you know, you will feel that, you know, you're depending on them and still they are putting you through this. It could be even people who work under you, the men who work under you. You know, if they work under someone else, they will be very like nice and respectful. But when they work for you, they don't take care of your work that way. So somehow the masculine energy is something that you need to heal overall. And here the masculine collective is thinking that they also need to do something radical, something uh, which is going to bring in like your attention also because you have actually crossed that place or you could be struggling in that place because I see the comments and looking at the comments also, the energy from the comments and the way the comments are written, uh, one can figure out, you know, where this person is stuck right now. So... 
some of the people are like they have forgiven and they've moved on and they're like okay see these type of channelings and readings are also sort of milestone readings you know where you have reached somewhere now and the other people can also see it you may not sometimes be able to see it fully 100% but they can see it so uh they see you as a person who can defend herself uh they see you as a very brave person a very brave woman and they are like also thinking that you know after i put her through so much because at that point in time all they thought was that you deserve it that you're a bad person you're not a good person something is not good about you because of the way masculine energy has always been in your life both masculine and feminine feminine energies have been disordered distorted with the all twin flames are like that so if you're a genuine twin flame you will always have maternal and paternal narcissistic wounds because that is the reason why you get into the polarized feminine and masculine experience and eventually you realize that you know individually these two energies are very good but as soon as they come together they become so volatile and they become so difficult this is the thing that creates problems in your life because by doing that the universe is no longer a friendly place the universe becomes a difficult place where nobody is in agreement and you know even if two people are very nice they have their constant uh you can say bitterness for each other or there's a unhealthy competition that happens between the masculine and feminine we don't want to do that we want the yin and yang to come together we want the light and dark to come together the solar is the light and lunar is dark so feminine comes from the lunar world the dark world and masculine comes from the solar world the sun world okay but we need to put it into togetherness together you know the sun and moon energies have to be balanced once they are balanced inside of you within you with the help of chakra alignment with the help of all the therapies that we do different therapies we do and i suggest people they should do literally all of them because the journey is such and then usually it happens that you know the blocked kundalini energy starts rising up again sometimes it's blocked right at the muladhara sometimes it's blocked at your swadhisthana or sacral energy okay now the third thing they see in you and this is something which is again repeating in from another channeling also i saw the same card what they see in you is that they see an enterprise they see a person who is an enterprise in itself and that's a very big quality to see like they feel that this person is doing so many things usually twin flames are like that they have many talents and many skills they are not like just into music or just into cooking or just into singing or just into dancing they're probably into everything so they have lots of skills and they look like you know they can pull off everything and so far looking at the growth of this person they feel it so whosoever is looking at this person this person is still in their distorted masculine energies but because they have been impacted by this person so deeply and intensely and most importantly they have a lot of guilt and shame because of what they did and then their plan did not work out so they still have a selfish interest they, the reason why they're looking at you stalking you watching you or finding out about you or you know doing whatever is because their plan whatever they thought did not work out for them so now they're like oh my god you know let me check out what this other person is doing maybe they are also in a bad space maybe they have not achieved anything either the message is that they realize that you were always right you were right when you were trying to tell them that hey we got everything what more do we want because most empaths are you know all about love they have a lot of love in them that's why they are empaths and that's why they are givers so in the the giver within them has to come into balance with the taker within them because we need to take and give both however here in this case this person must have said because these are the exact statements that were given to me in the very beginning that we have found each other we love each other if you love me and obviously from the distorted masculine perspective there may not be 100% love you know even from the distorted feminine's perspective it could be possible that she looked at the person as the right partner the right person initially but you know with time you stay with the person you fall in love you know it was never love at first sight it was not it was the love happened afterwards but maybe for the masculine it was love at first sight maybe the masculine liked 
this person a lot otherwise they would not have pursued this person okay so now they are missing you and they are missing all the words you said because they feel even if they feel that they can't go back you know even if like one of the cards told me that they feel that they can't go back uh, because they need to take a very radical step very brave thing they need to do something heroic they need to do for that they need a lot of power they need courage that type of courage cannot be created and that's why we say that the narcissist always is already in another relationship you know when they leave you in a relationship or in a marriage or in a very strong commitment while the empath stays back to work on themselves they don't just enter into any relationship like that you know and yes there are these tears now these tears could be genuine tears also <laughs> like genuinely somebody is crying or it could be literally like you know when you're repenting and you're regretting and you're like oh god are you punishing me like why are you doing this it could also be that look at me i uh, you know did all of these things and i am ending like ending up so badly whatever situation they are in it could be a divorce see because they were having a lot of fun and pleasure and pain they are the two sides of the same coin so they had way too much pleasure while the empath was busy doing inner work or they were busy going through the dark night or they were busy trying to figure out how to fix my life from here on whatever has happened has happened because they may have also told a hundred people you know about their relationship so people must have questioned them and asked them hey what about your relationship what happened so even they had to face so much you know and then there's public humiliation in some cases because the masculine very publicly humiliates them either they break off the engagement or the marriage or they just vanish away if they don't marry someone else and if they do then also it's public in in any case there is you know some sort of humiliation i came across one case uh, while i was working with someone where the masculine uh, was so mean the the man actually now the gender as i said it is it is not gender specific so i was told that the man in this case actually uh, broke up with this person and they humiliated them uh by writing post on uh, like facebook or social media about them like not taking anyone's name but indirectly saying so if they were dating an elder person i'm just giving an example someone who's 10 years elder to them they would say things about cougars you know the cougars are like this the cougars are like that while they were dating this person they were like oh no it's okay the age gap doesn't bother me but as soon as they left them discarded them they started humiliating them knowingly that yeah this person is on my social media they'll see or anything they love like these spiritual people are this or that or like these tarot card readers knowing that you could be into tarot cards or anything else you know spirituality is very vast right very vast uh, maybe it is they mock their love for the environment or the plants so they mock them publicly so even if say they don't take their name but uh, the feminine felt a lot of public hum humiliation and there were friends who were laughing and making jokes about her so maybe the friends knew about her maybe they had seen a picture so so much humiliation and this type of discard after that it's not always marriage or another relationship sometimes you just get humiliated because a person leaves you so badly you know they do it in such a horrible way that you feel humiliated so now it's their time to feel humiliated and they are getting humiliated by someone else maybe who they trusted a lot who they shared a lot with maybe they also shared about this relationship you know that they moved on from maybe they made fun of this person and now you know they are in a very bad space where people are mocking them like you know uh, oh the marriage did not last for even a year or something else you know maybe it's about money maybe the karmic invest in the businesses and then later on takes away all the money or stops investing in the middle of it or she is always he or she is always creating a lot of problems for them so they put them to a lot of humiliation because this is not how an and a business works or anything works okay uh, where there is so much control so they feel like that and now uh interestingly they want to leave as well and they also want to leave behind certain things so i'm being shown that they want to run away it's not like they want to openly run away they want to sneakily run away again and this time they are pretty convinced that this time 
I would be running for the right reason if I run away. So whatever they can take from there, you know, whatever they can collect from there, they are either planning to do that or they've already done it. Okay, they've just collected their belongings, their things, some paperwork, if there are legal things involved and some legal things, if not, then you know, something else, you know, they're just leaving and they are okay to leave behind certain things because they just want to leave. They just don't want to deal with that situation. Okay. And another thing that has been shown to me, it came like a progression that they would eventually also do inner work. It will work on themselves and they will really work on themselves. They'll focus so much on themselves. They are in, they would be either they are for some people or they would be in the eight of pentacles energy. You can Google about this card. And eight of pentacles is basically a very focused artistic person who is just into their work. They're not even result oriented. So maybe just by looking at you, you know, just by looking at how amazing you are and how independent you are, they will seek inspiration and they will be like, you know, if this person can do it, then I can also do it. You know, if I, I don't get out of these codependent energies, these disgusting energies. Now they can see that how they are a slave of many people. Now they see because what is causing the slavery, their weakness, the, you know, codependency, their privileges that they were getting from wherever they were getting it from, procrastination, not having enough faith, always taking time and other things for granted, people for granted, and always jumping in for the easy option. So they always had runners usually do this. This is not, that's why runners suffer a lot. And this is like their ultimate lesson because after this, they will literally drop the running because they always run. It's like their thing, you know, how chasers thing is to chase always to do too much, way too much, always, always, you know, pleasing people, always looking for them. Like, please acknowledge me. Please validate me. Are you happy? I'll do anything to make you happy. I'll anything and anything for this relationship. Similarly, runners are like, I want this. I want that. How will I do it? How will I do that? So they are suffering too because they are constantly in anxious energies. They are never happy. They are never content. They are never satisfied. So on this note, I am going to pause this channeling session. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you soon in another one because there are lots of pending channelings. So watch out for this space and subscribe to the channel and also join to get all the live sessions, you know, always, all the time. I'll see you soon in another one. One love and peace out.